This episode of The Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Audible. Coming up, it's Halloween and we aim to scare ourselves silly as we play Rise of Nightmares. Welcome to the Totally Rad Show and Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween! Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Uh, we should probably say what it is. Although. I am, the, you know. Who are you, Jack? Uh, Nathan Drake mm. from Uncharted. Yes. I am too soon. Ah. You are too soon. Uh, uh, you are I one am, more thing. I have one more thing. Uh, I actually should say. Just. Yours I'm, is an homage. Yeah, mine is an homage. More than no, I, I am, uh, I just got married. So yeah. dealing with marriage and crazy stuff, uh, didn't have time. To, you know, because I, Dude, I it's think a, a good lot costume. of it's I a good costume. Handmade, yeah, but, yeah, but I'm handmade a guy, by your wife to be. I'm a I'm a guy a who wife prides. Wife. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to that party. I, I, I'm a guy who prides myself. I have seven years of doing Geek Show and Toy Rad Show. I think I I get very excited about my costume. I've done really awesome costumes. If I I'm to my own horn. Right. This I had to be. Jeff even helped out. You know, it's like I had to be quick and. It's good though. Simple, I like it. So. Your wife sewed that turtleneck. That's together. right. Yeah. They don't sell turtlenecks in LA. Well, you keep so saying. So my that. wife. I think that's true. But sewed this. Amazing. I am a, a DCI John Luther from Luther. Walk towards him, Alex. I mean Luther. <laughs> <laughs> just, just became Luther out of focus. That's it. Uh, awesome. Yeah, we're we're having a good time. It's always good. I, uh, uh, we have yeah. a good. We have a big Halloween week. Halloween, uh, Halloween or day. Halloween day-ish. <laughs> but it's uh, today, then, then the week after Halloween. Yeah, today we're actually going to be playing Rise of Nightmares. We wanted to do the, something uh, scary. We thought, yeah. what's scarier than a Kinect game? <laughs> Rise of Nightmares. Uh, and then tomorrow we're back rocking uh, with uh, the real big release of last week, Battlefield 3. Yes. That's right. And then on Wednesday, we review a TV show. I don't know why I'm speaking like this. Uh, Too soon, Dan. That's, are you going to like my Steve Jobs voice impersonation? <laughs> no. Um, we review uh, a TV show called Grimm. Yes, Thursday, uh, we're doing something cool, talking about a movie that I didn't see, Anonymous. And then Friday, we're wrapping it up with a fun game. What, what is that? that? Mm, always fun. Any, uh, any fun Halloween plans, guys? Uh, no, going to Mowage. Dan's wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Mowage. Yeah, Dan gets married the Sunday after we tape this, so he is like full on. Yeah, you'll, he'll have already it. been married by the time you're seeing this and celebrating a Halloween. Ooh. Speaking of Halloween, great background. Really fun background. This uh, obviously thriller. Mm. And Thrilling. who sent this in, Michael? Lisa something? Lisa Boris. Liz, 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 Liz Boris. Boris. Thank you, Liz. For sending that in, fun Halloween background. If you want to send your background in, you can send it to fans at totallyradshow.com. Send it on your uh, iPad. Or if you'd, you know, like to send Actually, it. Actually, uh, I know I wasn't there to tell you about this, but uh, Siri now, I could just go. Oh, oh too, too soon. soon. Let's get into our show too soon. <laughs> it's All right, it's Halloween. We're in costume. We're ready to tackle a terrifying game for maybe more than one reason. We got Rise of Nightmares. This is yeah. Sega's full body controlled Kinect game. And it's a horror game. It's basically like walking through a haunted, it's a, it's a survival horror game. So you're walking through a haunted house. And you're gonna attack stuff, stuff's gonna attack you. Uh, we're playing this for the first time. It came out a little while ago, <laughs> but we're gonna see. The music swelled, and I got a little nervous. How this works, Alex? I think you're up first. I'm up yes. first. Get out of my place, please. All right. You're in a dungeon. Oh, oh shit! Wow. Oh, you got a pipe. He's got a pipe. Fighting stance, hold your arms up like you're boxing. You'll take the fighting stance. Swing the weapon you're holding. Please. Don't hit her. Do hit her. Hit her, dude. Hit her. Try opening just like you would in real life. 
<laughs> you punch Just doors like open in real life? life? I fucking hate doors. <laughs> you meant to walk forward. You're like a robot! Yeah. You have to... <laughs> you don't have to do that. You don't have to prance. I'm walking! Just put one foot out. <laughs> you just put one foot, there you go. You just lean forward on one foot and it'll lock. <laughs> <laughs> it's not walking. Just I'll leave it backwards. Backward out. Move backwards. There you go. You'll constantly move forward if you lean. Move back from Spencer. You're too close, Alex. You're too close, Spencer. You're too... <laughs> you gotta F them up. Oh! Yeah, dude. Yeah! First kill. Get ready for a slash. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh. I turned. I turned. That's it. You can't. You can't turn your shoulders. Your shoulders is what turns you. Your hands is what. <laughs> you're spinning. You're spinning. You're spinning. Well, why did you just check? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This guy is called Rise of the Prancing Nightmare. Anything? Anybody see anything? <laughs> Oh, close. Nicely done, sir. Alex. <laughs> Can I just check it? Here's what I would say. Try not to play a video game. Try to actually do what you're think what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. And see if it works. Do you need to be focused in the bag? <laughs> Put your arms up. There you go. Oh. Oh boy. Run. <laughs> oh, she's gone. She's gone. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I can kick! Oh, you can kick! Wouldn't have known that had I not been sauntering. Kick. Whoa, that's awesome! I told you. That is awesome. Oh boy. I'm not gonna be able to do anything. <laughs> oh! oh! Nightmare has risen, guys. Exploded! Uh oh. oh no. What the hell? Oh! oh. Wow. Oh. oh! Oh! Dude, that's kind of awesome. Yeah. Crouch! Nice crouching, Dan. Nice crouching. Stay, Stay balanced. balanced! Why aren't you staying balanced? <laughs> Run. Gotta move it. Run. Run, run. Run. <laughs> run, Dan, run. Do it, Dan. Run. <laughs> Why are you running? Jump. All right. I think we made it to the hole, to the castle, maybe. I think there's some rule against uh, Sony characters playing a Kinect game. <laughs> ah, funny. I kind of like the premise, though, of a train. Something crazy happens, the train crashes, and you're in Romania, and you don't, you know, yeah. everything's... Ugh, uh, the blood? It's like Goonies. Oh, I thought those were dead bodies. Swimming! Nice. See, guys, this is how it's done. You gotta get into it. Don't be afraid Turn. to make grand gestures. <sighs> <laughs> We're having fun. Like, yeah. Fun, fun, this fun. This is terrifying. So my daddy takes the T-bird away. <laughs> this is terrifying. You do the swim, and then I'll do the jitterbug. Yeah. Huh. Oh! Leeches. Swat them away. Oh, amazing. Just, that's, that's rad. That's, that's <laughs> that cool. That is rad. There's it, it's the right sentiment, you know, in this game. Yeah. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Mother bitch. Oh. Fucking whore. Yeah, you want some of this? Oh. Yeah, bitch. Fucking take that. Take that. You take one of those. Take this. Roadblock. 
Too late. Uppercut. Oh, you're hitting him right in the thorax. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to run? <laughs> no! Yeah! How you like me now? The system works. Don't mess with Nathan Drake. There you go. Get him, get him. Block when they do that. Uh, your health is low. Yeah, you cross your arms to block. Nice. <laughs> Flurry of blows! Block! Oh, yeah! There's something fun to be. There's fun to be. So here's my question, it's a fun guys. Party game. What's yeah. more horrifying, the game or the way the person looks control playing. of the game? Yeah. Is there something to this? Is there something to it? Maybe in a couple is there, of years. Is there something that is horrifying about like literally having to push the guy off you? No. It's just not fun for anybody. It I mean, is it's, awkward. It's awkward because here's the problem. It puts you in a situation where you have no dexterity in how to solve the game. Yeah. So that it becomes it, it becomes literally flailing. Yeah. And and maybe there's a turn of a corner that after 20 hours of playing it, you would turn a corner and become very good at it. But it doesn't feel like there's that sensitivity. Like it I could what needs good to happen it. is you need it needs to be completely natural. You need yeah. to be able to interact. You don't need to be you can't be conscious it's, it's still gesture. Controlling a, a gesture. This is still like I'm, you know, it's like I'm swiping. I'm doing. This means, this means I open a door, and this yeah. means a da da da. It's not like I'm opening a door. I'm da 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 da. I'm da da da. And like, you know, it's like that. And, and uh, yeah. You were saying some nice things about the, the story. Story. There's something. There's something interesting about as a horror movie. The premise. Yeah. On a train. I mean, that, you know, not everything starts out that way. Yeah. It's kind of a cool way in. There are, scary video games are fun, and I feel like getting you involved and physical would add to the scares, should add to the scares. It, right? What, like, I've been terrified by video games. You're more terrified the more immersed you are. Yeah. And this should be more immersive. But it's not, it's, it's not. never been more immersive. No. Yeah. E anyway, like even in the other games, you know what I mean? Like, you don't think still, like pushing the zombie off you is. That's not more immersive, because I'm like, you know, this is not just, it's, it's silly. That's what you would do if a zombie was here. Oh, this is true. Yeah. Still, fun little thing. But it's, your it's happy fine. Halloween. Happy Halloween. Jesse. All right, everybody, be sure to stick around. We're going to be answering one of your Twitter questions. But first, we want to thank our sponsors, Jeff Kanata. Audible.com, the leading provider of downloadable audio books and spoken word entertainment. What does that mean? Don't know. <laughs> 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 Let me break it down thank for you, you, sir. Thank you. They have over a hundred and a hundred and thousand. A hundred and thousand. Not only do they have over a hundred, but they have over a hundred thousand. Ah. Hundred thousand titles to choose from from any genre you can possibly imagine. These are books. These are audio spoken word entertainment. It's people reading books to you so that you can get things done, do other things, and still enjoy yep. awesome books. There's so many really cool books across. Nonfiction, fiction, any kind of genre you could possibly imagine. Mm -hmm. And if you want a free audiobook, I do. I know. AudiblePodcast.com slash totally rad will get you a free audiobook. Um, recommend a book, fellas. What's a what's a great book that you've been I'm reading? I'm still reading in the name of the wind, which I love. It's not in, but yeah, name of the wind. Name yes. Of the wind, yes. Great, yeah. great I'll say book. It in the name of the uh, Which is awesome, but then Heather uh, is in the second book of the Hunger Games trilogy and loving it. I have not read them. So that would be Second something. Right. I, I, I read the first one on Audible. Yeah. Yes, yeah, awesome. I had it read to me. On my the, ear on the I, I, yeah. So those are two great great <laughs> suggestions. <laughs> Audiblepodcast.com slash totally rad. Free audiobook. Do it. Cool. We will see you tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow's show when we review Battlefield 3. Today's Twitter question comes to us from at Matt Geisbrecht. I need a badass name for my new kitty, female. Uh, any suggestions? A Included a picture of the kitty, which adorable. is amazing. That is an adorable cat. That's uh, kind of a Hitler stash. Yeah, so Hitler would be one option. Well, but that's not, that's stash. too masculine. It needs to be like Hitler. <laughs> Hitler! Hitler! Genius. Hitler is or, amazing. I have two awesome names. Okay. Uh, one predates Matt Geisbeck, so he won't use it. But if I had a cat, I would name it Toonses. 
The driving cat, the cat that could drive a car. On Saturday Night Live, oh, which wow. is a show Matt probably doesn't even watch. Yeah. Uh, but for today's audiences, I would name it Keyboard. Oh, Keyboard, keyboard the cat. That's cute, not, not feminine, not feminine, but good. Keyboard, ah. Uh, Keyboardy. <laughs> Keyboardy. How about like, um, I like, like Kitty Pride. Kitty uh, Pride. Kitty Shadow yeah, Cat. Yeah. I don't know, those are all like, those Wolverine. are kind of com comic book-y. E. Wolverine. -y. How about uh, Thunderpaws? Yeah. <laughs> Thunderpaws. Cute dude. Yeah. Sweetie Pie. Yeah, yeah. Chitara. Oh, oh Chitara. Chitara. Or no, what was the, she was what a little, was orange little cat in? Schnarf? Schnarf. 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 She, Schnarf she looks like a dream. She does look like a dream. Schnarf is yeah. Thank there you, you go. at Matt Geisbrecht.